What is up, nerds? Cloud here with another World Flipper video. And yes, I am not wearing my eye patch today. I'll do my best to not manually close my eye like this 80,000 times during the video. So at this point, it's an involuntary movement. I don't realize that my hand is going towards my eye to close it to get some moisture. But hopefully you guys are having a great day. Hopefully you're having a great World Flipper after post anniversary with your summons. Uh, and speaking of summons, great segue into what we're doing today. I have two new units to summon for. Um, the Valentine's Day banner version of Elia and Floretta. Which, Floretta is a sleeper unit for me in general. I love her character and her ability. Um, so really excited to summon for both these characters. Uh, I've talked about this a bunch of my World Flipper videos. I don't know if there's a demand for YouTube content. Um, a lot of the information, do you summon, should you summon, why should you summon, do you wait, why, why are they good characters, why are they niche, a lot of that exists in the Discord, and I don't play in the JP version, so it just always feels like I'm taking things from people, and like I'm taking information that already exists, so it's very kind of weird, but boiler points, shout out to Patch, uh, who, again, part of the Discord, puts out an infographic that I'll have linked in the description that shows, like, well, should you summon, why you should summon, what their uses are. In any, in any case, um, Elia is a great, phenomenal, all-around damage dealer. Um, but specifically for ability damage and World Flipper's got a lot of text, right? There's a lot of math that goes into some of the stuff um, But for Elia's character and technically for Florida as well um, They fit the AD um, The ability damage. So if you look right here, you see their class is Deadeye So if you hit a certain amount on your combo meter Deadeye as a character class You'll shoot out a beam when you flip. So that's when you flip you'll shoot out a beam Warrior will do let the hat. It'll do this huge spin. Um, the skill, the skill is separate from ability, right? So the skill damage is what you see here. It's the ability activated once your skill gauge reaches 100%. You activate that skill, shut out. That's the skill damage, right? So that's your SD. Ability damage, which doesn't see that much use, so it's always kind of cool to see if people can make team comps that exist like that, is on her number three. When this unit is a main unit, a unit dashes, you deal light damage equal to six times this unit's attack to the closest enemies. Cooldown is 0.75 seconds. If you look at her ability, it says increases Elia's attack and ability damage. So she's classified as an AD. The intent of her kit as a main unit is to is to utilize her ability. Obviously you want to use her use her skill, but using that ability gives her more damage than the average light skill user or the ability user. So um, she has, she fits um, she fits in all, almost all light teams and some fire teams. Um, and a unit you do not need to have. Uh, seasonal units, so time limited, might come back, might not. By no means necessary for any time attack, right? Which is the that's the pinnacle, right? That's the top tier, hardest content in the game. Um, not necessary to summon. I'm gonna summon. I have a bunch of currency. Uh, Elia is awesome, right? This I think this is our third version. Maybe yeah. Her she has a four star into the five star water version, and then this one. I might be missing one. Um, and then Florida. Florida fits almost the same thing. Uh, she's a lot more on the support side as a unison unit, but she also has a um, ability damage. Uh, skill activated by light unit, 10 times power attack, light damage against all enemies. So when a skill's activated, it doesn't hit weak points, but it'll activate. So again, ability damage isn't the most sought after. Um, it's unique in the sense that your character does something different rather than like, you know, you got poison damage, you got multi-ball, you got direct hit. Like there's, it's just a type of gameplay style. Um, so love both these characters. Um, the banner, they're also right up on two separate, um, uh, oh my gosh, uh, one's five star, one's four star. I was gonna say like, I just try to find the smartest word I could for the difference between the two characters in terms of rarity. We found it. Alright guys, so without further ado, if I keep talking, I'm going to record the video for the 80th time. At some point, I don't know when that point will be, but I'll stop bringing that up. I will stop saying, guys, I'll restart the video for the 30th time. It's just, I'm so not new to YouTube. Golly. Alright. So we're doing our daily pull first. 
I like to do my daily pulls. I like to support uh, Cacao by giving them some quiche um, once in a while. Try to support the game, the developers. I love that they have two packs. Gosh, I love. Oh, I love Florida. All right. Ooh, we got tickets? So, I've talked about this many, many times. In most games that I play, I like to do single pulls. But in World Flipper, it doesn't work that way for me. Okay, three yellows. So, all my three and four stars are already maxed out. Let's go. Come on, y'all. Tiger. Let's go. Oh! Okay, a unit that I have, a unit that I've needed. And I say needed. I don't know where I'm gonna fit her on my team yet, but a five star I don't have. First copy ever, I'll take it. Oh, the young cleric. Okay, so no, I mean five star, right, on our first pull, which were tickets. Um, but nothing yet. Definitely wanna give Florida. Elia, I'll do maybe four ten pulls, and then I'll do daily pulls after that. Again, not necessary by any means. If you're summoning, you're summoning because you have the resources to pity. As a free-to-play... I love me some mail. As a free-to-play player, you should always be considering what's the best bang for my buck, and that's always going to pity. But sometimes we don't need pity. Sometimes we just pity ourselves because we miss it. Oh, come on. Incredible character design. Get out of here, Jen. We'll, I'll play you in Tekken 8. I'll try you out. Dog. Where are we going? Why give me the Pachinko? Why? If you're just going to play me like a fiddle. Alright, I'd love to see a rate up right here. I'd love to see a rate up. I'd love to see a rate up. Straight down? I don't know if you guys can hear it. They're seriously great. Try them. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to get her. Oh man, that would have been so awesome. Okay, so... Uh, amazing. I didn't have to spend any of my beads yet. I will do... Depending on what I get here, this will be the last pull, and I'll just do daily pulls. I'm, I want to I wanna get Florida. I absolutely want to get Florida. It's getting hot in here. No Oh, Florida, don't be, don't be... Don't be so nervous, girl. It's me. And I'll eat your chocolate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Love Meryl's design, too. All the females in this game can get it. Of age, of course. Click it on. I don't know why, but I feel like... Th th I never get a rate of on the last one. Well... I am sorry that that video was so short, but I'm not sorry that I get to keep my beads. Oh, actually, and the last thing I'll show you guys to show you the embarrassment. That was my best time. I talked about it in a bunch of my other videos that I kept trying to record. Um, I just could not get this one locked down. I watched a bunch of videos. I missed out on Summer Illumi. Um, so I missed like the best one, but I had the second best team. I didn't have the MB2s built, but I just could not for some reason on the right side of the stage I could not get my characters to dash in the beginning So I spent like three hours on my first day and then two hours So I spent about five hours total to get the boss down to half health and it just I, I, I hit a wall uh, the the water time trial um, Just it didn't affect me as much as this one did so that's my record, sadly. Maybe next time I try to do it. I did stream it on Twitch. Um, I've said this before as well, but I don't, don't. I just don't think the World Flipper live streaming community is, you know, in full effect yet. But um, if you guys let me know in the comments below, I did finish. I do want to do the haunt and show that off. Uh, I didn't. I haven't completed it yet. But I was able to beat these three teams. Now I did have the best in slot. The teams used for it, but. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to see a video of how that works and or how I did it and how I hit auto and just went on my way. But 
In any case, um, incredible. I got both the characters I wanted. My four star, I'm going to use my gems to level her up. And then my five star, um, I'll try to fit her on an ability damage team or utilize her for any concept that I think so. Like the, the nether godly, nether fox godly, nether godly fox one of those two. Anyway, big old clap. Uh, you are valued. You are appreciated. Thank you, nerds, for being here. Um, I'm going to leave you with this last piece of wisdom, okay? I'm going to teach you how to guys that get luck like me on these collab banners. So what you do 